Hi, Aquarius. Ooh, okay. Your one card for money is Ace of Cups. So you guys could be embarking on a new beginning. You guys could also be finding love, which is going to take you into money, okay? As in, you guys are cajoning um, finances, um, doing all kind of stuff together, bringing in money. Okay, you can meet someone also very wealthy or something. This is a money read, um, Aquarius, for May 2023. Hmm, you guys are finding love. I think, and that's how you're going to find your money. I'm sorry to say that, guys. Um, Aquarius energy. So, um, we're on the sign of Aquarius. I had to look again. I don't know what's going on, Aquarius. Maybe you're looking at things twice, or you're looking at a lover twice, or someone in regards to love. You're looking at someone that's, that's going to come into your life, or um, that is in your life. You're looking at them twice. Like, I feel like you're in deep contemplation about them. I don't know why I get the message that you're thinking about this person and like thinking about, you know, can I see myself with this person going to the next level? So that's what this Ace of Cups is. Some of you Aquarius have already met this person. Okay, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, doesn't have to be, but they could be water. Um, or either you guys are going to meet this person or you have met this person. But someone is up in their, their thoughts about who this person is. Okay. Yeah. Again, that's what I'm saying. Um, I'm about to say Aquarius energy. There's your match. In the main deck, he's they're right behind you. Okay. Um, air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You guys definitely have a match. Some, wow, this new love is your soulmate or a soul contract. It's a serious love connection is what I'm saying, Aquarius. It's here. So some of you guys already seen this or you're about to see it, okay? This person could definitely be air. So they could be water and air. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Don't have, They don't have to be. What's behind that? Yeah, you're going to hold on to this person when they come in. You're not going to let them go. Aquarius, so you guys got a soulmate, a soul contract, or a twin flame. Take it as a apply however it means to you, however it resonates to you. Um, someone's coming in that is your match, okay? They are your match intellectually the most. You guys are going to be able to talk about anything, and you're going to be able to relate to each other communicatively um, about anything. It feels like you could tell this person anything or everything, and it's like they won't judge you. Um, it's going to be a lot of good communication. I don't know why the Four of Pentacles came with these cards when I got them. Okay, I just meant to pull the um, King of Swords and the Queen of Swords to talk about them. And here's the Four of Pentacles. Someone from your past may be trying to hold on to you too tight. I do feel that you want to move away from the past. You do want someone else. Your back is turned to the person holding these pentacles. I don't know why I'm seeing that. So Aquarius, you guys may be done with the past, but the past is not done with you with this person here. They could be a, a Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, very strong uh, Capricorn energy here. They could be in your past. But you're, for, you're moving forward towards your soulmate, your true soul desire, person you're supposed to be with, okay? Um, this person matches you intellectually. Now, you guys could be into all kind of stuff. Like, I'm hearing geniuses. Okay, so you guys could be... Um, they're matching your intellect. So they can't get one over you, on you neither. Okay, you know, you know this person. Okay, they're very voice opinionated and so are you. That's really what I'm picking up. Hmm. That's what this new love is that's coming in. They're coming in as an air energy or water. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're going to match you intellectually. So maybe together you guys are going to put your two minds together and, you know, make money or something like that. This is telling me more of a future uh, reading than just the month of May 2023. They're letting me know your soulmate is around. And they're going to talk a lot. You guys, are you, you're going to know who it is because you're going to be talking a lot. You're going to talk for hours. You're going to talk a whole lot. Um, you're also going to feel like you know this person very well. And they're going to feel like they know you. Um, so that's all I got to say about that. It's just clear as day. Yeah. Uh, messages for Aquarius, May 2023. Ooh. We have number seven. The sign keeps coming up.
Oh, okay. Is the sign of Mercury. So it's not the sign, it's the planet. The planet Mercury is here. So that um, Mercury governs over Virgo and Gemini again. It's representing communication. So it's governing over the third house. Gemini, communication, Mercury, the planet. And then it represents Virgo, health, and work. It's the sixth house for Virgo, and it represents Mercury. So you guys could be meeting a Virgo as well, or a Gemini, or any water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or these signs are going to be significant. Someone could have a heavy Mercury placement. Um, where you got, you know, a lot of Virgo placements in your birth chart, Gemini placements in your birth chart. But you guys are definitely um, going to be having a lot of communication. That's all I could say, Aquarius, for you this month. That's why I said if, if it has happened already, you're going to know who it is. Because you're just going to be talking a lot to this person. Whether it's, um, I, I definitely see face-to-face, -face, okay? Um they're not going to contact you through the phone or email or, you know, um, they're not going to contact you through um, some kind of media. This person wants to talk to you face to face. They want to see you. They want to engage with you. Um, they they want to definitely get to know you and bond with you, okay? Now that's why I'm saying this is going to be a face-to-face -face meeting or conversation. Uh, they enjoy talking to you, and that's why I'm saying Mercury's ruling this month for you guys, um, Aquarius. And the month of um and month of may 2023 in the energy of gemini and virgo now you guys might talk about health and talk about work i also feel you're going to talk about anything i feel like everything's on the table here with this uh, mercury energy showing up so you guys are going to be um, definitely talking in the communication area of two houses which is the third house and the sixth house of com uh, third house is communication gemini and sixth house like i said before is virgo health and work okay room message for aquarius may 2023 again okay so again pisces energy cancer scorpio water energy so this talks this room talks about water sea lake flow renewal how well, that's why I'm saying you guys might be communicating on, about how something operates, how to make money, because this is a money read. So that's why I'm saying you guys could be going with the flow with your regards to your finances. But someone, you guys got a soulmate coming in. Okay. And some of you guys already know this soulmate and you're already talking with them. So this month, you're going to be talking a lot with this person. Okay. And that's how you're going to know who they are. But they could be uh, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, with heavy water placements in their birth chart. Okay, we got more water here with this rune. So water, sea, lake, flow, renewal. So again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, strong water placements for this person. Even though they might be air, they may be um, also talking about their emotions a lot this month. Okay, lucky numbers for Aquarius. Three lucky numbers for Aquarius. Three lucky numbers, one more for Aquarius. Okay, that one. Oh, <laughs> the bottom of the deck, we have number three. We have 13, 37, number two, number 42. Okay, so that's all I have for you, Aquarius. Until next time, take care.